Hey, what's going on everybody? I go by the name of Cataclysm215 and in this video we're going to show uh, you how a how low level players can actually still compete and complete higher level difficulty missions um, because a lot of the stratagems that you unlock very early in the game are actually some of the best stratagems in the game. And we're only going to focus on using weapons that are unlocked in the first four pages of the Warbond. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get right into this, guys. Right now, we're using the Breaker Incendiary. Or not the Breaker Incendiary, I'm sorry. The OG Breaker uh, Shotgun. Uh, we're going to use the Redeemer, which is unlocked on the second page as our secondary weapon. We're using the base the base uh, grenade that they give you uh, at the very beginning of the game. And we're also going to be using this um, Infiltrator Body Armor, which you can unlock on the very first page. Uh, now, the reason I'm actually using this is because it's uh, light armor, and when you're fighting the Terminids, um, I really enjoy using the light armor. I love being able to maneuver around as much as possible. I feel like speed is more important than anything when it comes to the Terminids. Innocence and then I will show you guys which... Um, we must act. I'm going to show you guys which stratagems you should bring in as well. Also, we're only going to use uh, Help Hot Space Optimization or the Vitality Booster. Those are also in the first couple pages of the Warbot. And all the stratagems that we use are going to be level 5 or lower for this particular mission. We're just going into a Blitz Search and Destroy right now. Oh, they give you the flamethrower? That's cool. Yeah, we're not going to use that for this one, though. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit. So we're going to bring in the, uh... Where's it at? The EAT? Engaging orbital thrusters. Second. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Right. Hell divers to hell pods. Which you unlock at level three. The precision orbital strike, which you unlock at level one. Uh, the eagle cluster bombs. And the orbital gatling, which are both unlocked at just at level one as well. That. All right, let's go. I decided to do this uh, video with uh, team is because you also have to learn how to move around, move around your teammates so you don't end up damaging them as well. That's another reason I like the light armor so much. It gives you so much maneuverability.
stalkers or shriekers, I mean. The ATs, they have a 70 second cooldown. You want to drop them down as often as possible. Stalkers. Freedom. Freedom marches on. Thanks to you, you may be here somewhere. there. Orbital. 
Action is available. Super samples.
how to get. No, it's okay, man. No worries. I saw what you were dealing with over there. Destroyer has left squadron. Good work collecting so many samples. Um, has left squadron. She brought the uh, orbital precision them. strike for the bow titans, and yet we didn't see see a single one. But basically, that's it is possible to be a low level player and do higher levels. Uh, that was level seven difficulty. Um, yeah, and I just want to showcase that because the the stratagems I brought in was an EAT, which is only, which you unlock at level three. Uh, the orbital precision, uh, level one. Uh, Eagle cluster bombs is only level three, and the orbital gatling is level two. Um, it's definitely possible to do the higher difficulties as long as you know, learn how to maneuver and stuff like that. Um, I am going to be breaking more videos on this, uh, but that's going to do it for now, guys. Um, yeah. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I will see you on the next one. Peace.